Shalom. Today is different and going to be uh, interesting. I was asked by my friend Brandon, who is standing right over here, but I'm going to introduce you to him in a second, um, to come on his new uh, internet show that is Dancing with the Internet Stars. And just like the real Dancing with the Stars, the uh, stars is used very loosely. Um, so... <laughs> So here's uh, Brandon. Hello, hello. You are an internet star, Cody. Uh, well, just in, just like in the, in the hearts, show, in the yes. hearts and minds of yes, the people of, at home of a few. Heart. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. Um, so Brandon is a choreographer, and you've done some pretty big stuff, and which is why he's qualified to teach someone like me who has never danced before in a uh, formal environment to do it. So, what what, what have you done? What's your uh, Tell me all your accolades. All Brag accolades. on yourself. Brag on myself here for a minute. Uh, well, I'm a director choreographer. I'm based here in New York City. Uh, I do work at the intersection of you know, musical theater, uh, technology, and immersive dance. So all sorts of different things. Um, I got to work um, with Andy Blankenbuehler on Bandstand last year on Broadway, and he's the choreographer of Hamilton, which I'm sure a lot of you know him from. And I also have my YouTube channel and Instagram, which I love sharing process with people on, and also teaching internet stars <laughs> how to dance is my new thing. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why we're here. He's gonna teach me how to dance, and hopefully, I don't embarrass myself. It's gonna be great. Um, we, I chose the song uh, "Copycat" by Billie Eilish, who is like one of my new favorite artists. Um, I don't know. I just stumbled across her stuff, and then it just, I could not stop dancing to it. So I figured, let's just dance to it in a formal way, and I'll. That way, every morning when I'm listening to this song, anyway, I'll just be doing this choreography that I'm about to be taught. Sounds perfect. <laughs> let's do it. Step one is warming up. Getting that blood flowing, get stretching. Fall out of our body, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're talking about learning and talking the difference between visual learning and physically learning. And I'm definitely more of a physical learner. I need to do it, I need to get in there and make it happen before I even know what is happening. Can't just watch something and be like, nailed it! So it starts, you know, your hands are kind of crossed in front of you. X gonna give it to you. X gonna give it to you, Wakanda forever. One, two, three. Four, so tap that in first, out, and around. I think the hardest part for me is going to be coordinating my legs and my arms in one movement. Yes. I can, can, I can focus on my legs, or yeah. I can focus on my arms, but it's hard to like think about both. Yes, that four is append hard. Four appendages. <laughs> That's right. There's a lot of things on your body happening. You have a tendency to be open with your feet, and you want to... Look at that turnout! That's crazy! Sign me up for ballet! <laughs> Gonna try it first time with music. It's very sharp, it's good. And so I think instead of so much down, think more like, like I'm not actually shrinking, I'm just, I'm just coming up on my toes. You can like give a little attitude. Yes! There, that's something. Out further? So it's so I'm here, it's arm, arm explode. We're all the same things I did. Yeah, yeah. And just like letting yourself continue that. Yeah. He's doing great. It's like uh, thumbs up for Cody. Fifth time through, <laughs> like twenty percent there. So the hardest part for me right now is that in any experience with dancing I've ever had, I never had to think about it. I was letting the music do the thinking for me and my body was just moving to it. Whereas now I have to actually think about what I'm doing, but I haven't developed like the muscle memory of doing that. So it's like, it's really difficult. But I've learned the steps. Doesn't mean they look pretty though. Amateur hour. Da, 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 da. 
so we've been working on the choreography for like almost an hour, maybe even a little over an hour, and we've got about 10 seconds of it down. So, so I need about an hour for every 10 minutes, and then... 10 seconds. Yeah, an hour for every 10 seconds, uh, and then we can do a whole show of like half-baked choreography. So we'll be good. here for six yeah. weeks, and we'll play that one song. Yes, yes. It'll be great. Just dance. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're being very hard on yourself. You're doing great. It looks really good. When you allow yourself to just like yeah. feel it, it's awesome. It really is. Awesome. choreographed the whole thing. Now we're gonna try to run it from the top. The full 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your back, cause I can't watch mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it gets, it, we are suddenly going much faster. It's hard because I naturally dance like Drake. <laughs> That's a very good analysis of yourself. Yeah. You've got a lot of yeah. this. Right. There we go. So, someone please pop a Drake meme here yeah. in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> That's good Drake dancing. Yeah. Like, that's, so going channel to, that though. I feel like that lives in this dance. I don't think we're too far away from it. Okay. Okay. I'm nowhere near ready for a uh, final, but we only have about ten minutes left in this room, so we have to do it anyway. He's got it. He's Sorry about you. Yes. I'm now in a tank top. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was that was an experience. Um, I I would say that I was disappointed um, that I am not a, a dancing prodigy. You know, I would hope that I would just show up and I would blow everybody away. Mm -hmm. But I was the same as everybody else in that I suck because I've never danced before. <laughs> You did a great job. You had a very small amount of time. And I think he did a great job, and everyone should tell him so in the comments. So we danced, we, we did that in about two and a half hours ish, um, and we only accomplished to really kind of nail down like 15 seconds. Um, if you do want to see the, 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 the best one we got before we lost the room, <laughs> uh, that is over on Brandon's channel in his video, so you can check that out um, to see the full dance. Um, you can also subscribe to Brandon's uh, channel. He does, it, recently he just did a breakdown of the new HomePod commercial of like breaking down the choreography, telling you what is the story that those movements were trying to tell, and it's very interesting. I would highly recommend checking out that video after you watch his perspective of today and teaching me uh, as a very novice dancer to uh, do some choreography. I think what we learned today, though, is that you are a good dancer, and that's really fun. And I, w I was telling Cody earlier that like, if he took formal class, even especially when we were younger, and even mm -hmm. if you jumped into it now, and like, we're like, I'm gonna be a professional dancer now, like, I have confidence that it lives in you, you know, like, you. <laughs> the, the spirit lives in you. Yeah. Um, and so it's really fun to discover that with someone um, who, you know, maybe enjoys dancing but doesn't think that they're a, like, good dancer, you know, yeah. like with a capital D. Yeah. It's a whole new world, guys, um, that, that I'm exploring here, so uh, I'm definitely more on the lines of uh, being a, a Drake dancer. So if we wanted to choreograph to Hotline Bling, that's next. I could next week Hotline Bling for you. There you go. I could probably nail that one. <laughs> yes, we'll make it happen. Hotline <laughs> Bling. We'll put you in a box. Yes. So I guess um, you can dance if you want to. Um, you can leave your friends behind. But you can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, there are no friends of mine. Call me callous. Call me cold. You're italic, I 
coming bold, call me cocky Watch your tone, you better love me Cause you're just a clown